What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Q. And uh, today I got to catch up on some stuff I missed last week. And one of those things was the Apple event from last week. And uh, I got to see Apple got some pretty cool stuff coming out, man. Uh, one of the things that they talked about, they got a new thing coming out called the AirTag, which when I saw it, I thought I was like, wow, this is, looks just like a tile, but it's messed up for some reason. When I saw it, I was like, wow, that seems just like tile, only it'll probably be done better because it's by Apple. I don't know why I assume that. That's a terrible thing to assume. And honestly, it's not very logical. It's just, you know, Apple has me kind of brainwashed to where when I see their products, I just assume it's going to be of like higher quality than other stuff. I don't know why. But yeah, it's like a little air tracker. You can put it on, you know, um, they didn't say how durable it is, but I could see mostly people probably using it for their keys. But I was thinking it'd probably be cool something to like put on your dog. I don't know if it would get beat up too bad, but it looked kind of small, durable, like, you know, the size of like a dog tag. It seemed like that'd be a cool thing to have. But also they have like little like leather luggage things you can put them in and little like keychains you can put them in. They even have the Hermes. It's either Hermes or Hermes. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know what I'm talking about. I think it's Hermes, but they have some luggage ones that are Hermes and are $450. For a luggage tag. Not the tracker, it's the same tracker. It's still, the tracker itself is gonna be $30, right? So it's still the same $30 tracker. It's just for the Hermes leather around it, it's $450. Only Apple would ask you to pay for some sh like that, bro. Seriously. But also they had what I think was the big star of the show was the new iMac came out, man. I've always been a fan of iMac, bro. The iMac was the one that made me actually notice Apple in the first place. Because when I was a kid, the only thing that I really knew Apple for back in the day when they still had the, you know, the little rainbow Apple, only thing I knew it for was Oregon Trail and dysentery. Because whenever I played Oregon Trail, my character got dysentery. Shout out to Oregon Trail for teaching kids how terrible the world can be. <laughs> yeah, when I was younger, that's all I knew it for was Oregon Trail. But then they came out with the very, those, the, I think they were the G3s. They were the IMAX with the bubble back where they did all the fancy colors. That was like the first time that I, I remember Mac being like cool, like stylish, like, oh, I got to get me one of those bubble bags which is insane to think about it now that we were so excited about the bubble back max. They had like the little handle on top that was kind of cool. Now it's like if anything you own has a bubble back, you probably should throw it away because it's probably old as hell, fam. It's amazing how times change. But uh, the new IMAX come in the same sort of colors as the old ones. Oh, this thing is super slick, super thin, comes in, I think, seven different colors, but it also comes in um, just like the classic apple silver, if you want apple silver. But I think it's cool they brought back all the colors and this thing is thin, bro. I'm talking, it's like half an inch thick or something. It's so thin that, you know, they used to have the, the audio jack on the back of it. The audio jack is now on the side of it because it's technically so thin that a normal audio jack like this it's actually longer than the whole system so it has to plug into the side it's a cool concept it's super thin they went with like a two-tone color design it's got an m1 chip it's got adobe atmos speakers so all that's cool also one of the random things i noticed is that they went from a black bezel to a white bezel and i don't know if i like that i think they did that because it complements the colors a little better but I don't know, I've gotten so used to the black bezel on Max. That's kind of like a feature that I like. So it's a little weird. I don't know if any of this matters because I just dropped so much money buying the parts for this PC. That video is coming soon where I'll be building that and showing you guys that. that there's no way I can even look at Apple's website to even consider something like this for years because <laughs> I am so spent on this PC, bro. It's not even funny. But yeah, man, it's just watching it, watching it and seeing the new iMac brought back memories of the old one and how popular it was and what made me think Apple was cool in the first place. I think that's when a lot of people first started thinking they were cool. What do you think, man? Is it cool? Uh, are you thinking about getting one? Do you not like the new design? Uh, do you wish they'd gone for something thicker or like more rounded? Because this one's kind of square and thin, but it's very thin. It's, it's sleek looking. Do you not like the multicolors or, or what are you thinking, man? Let me know down in those comments, guys. And as always, man, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys.
Don't make it weird. I guess that works. 